from the Mac Observer, July 12th. What, uh, you got anything for us in, in the terminal realm here? I think you do. Uh, this actually is not the terminal. So okay. I suppose you could do this in the terminal. Sure. It's, it's a GUI based application. And I thought I'd mention it because I actually, so when I was doing the, uh, so when I got this new switch mine, Dave, and as you recall, there was, um, a, a Java or Windows, which turned out to be a Java utility. And it does something kind of bizarre if you run it on a Mac in the, it, it won't necessarily run. You have to fiddle around with uh, redirecting packets and stuff like that. And so it led me to a point where I'm like, how do I send traffic on my network to kind of test whether I've set this up right? Well, wouldn't it be great if there was a utility that would allow you to create a TCP IP or UDP, I guess, uh, packet from scratch with either hex or alphanumeric data and give an address of a device to send it to and hit a button and it sends it. Wouldn't that be great if somebody made something like that? Well, somebody does make something like that. And it's not surprisingly called packet sender. Oh, nice. That's packetsender.com. And it's available for windows, Mac and Linux. And it does exactly uh, what it needs to. And actually, what I see here, oh, I guess there is a terminal aspect. So apparently it, uh, it, so it offers a GUI version, which I think most people is probably what you want to do. Yeah, sure. Of course. <laughs> but if you want, but, but it says, uh, but I'm looking here, I, I had not actually tried it, but it says here, command line screenshot, and that I guess it offers a command line version as well, if, uh, if you decide that's what you want to do. Sure. So. Uh-huh. Nice, man. Very cool. All right. I want to take a minute here, John, before we move away from the terminal. From Lost Decade Games, July 14th. Kind of a seventh guest-ish kind of experience, probably. I mean, yeah, without exactly. the puzzles, but, you know, kind of with the, you're following along the story as it unfolds. Yeah. So here's my big question. Is uh, is Dan Nagel going to update Rogatron to be able to hack Contradiction? <laughs> Or, you know, any other HTML5 games, but uh, here's another one. Contradiction. Raga Diction. (laughs) No, that doesn't make sense. (laughs) Contratron. Dan should never let us name his software. (laughs) You can barely name podcasts, let alone software. I can. I'm just limping along like, (laughs) oh, I have a name, but barely. Oh, there it is. What do you guys think? (laughs) Boo. (laughs) Get off the stage. Yeah, no more naming. Anywho, check that out. Uh, Interesting stuff.